So, so you sort of have three different things from yesterday. The Seahawks are the ones initiating calls, not just listening. Mm-hmm. Then you heard that Sherman himself is engaging with other teams and trying to get himself traded. But then the biggest one, I think, is what Schefter says, which is this stems from Sherman, not from the team. The team didn't decide one day we want to trade Richard Sherman. Sherman came to them and said he wanted out. Richard Sherman was the one that initiated this. He was the one that wanted to be traded initially. The Seahawks were obliging him and his request. Now, we've sort of speculated on that for the last couple of weeks, but when you hear it reported like that, does it change your mind at all on this? Well, my mind has been changed a couple of times. <laughs> and I don't mean back and forth. I just mean it's ramped up on the trade front. I'm more convinced. What did I say? Two days ago, I was at about 35% that it would happen. Yeah. Now I'm at about 40 The only question is... Will they be able to make it happen? Will they find a suitable deal? Yeah. I firmly believe today that they want to happen, right? Before it was John Schneider, oh, yeah, well, 90% or 98% of the phone calls that come in, you know, we take calls. We can take calls all day. Okay, there's a difference between fielding phone calls and actually making or sure. wanting to and, make and something making happen. phone calls. Right, there's a huge difference, And actually. then why are you making calls? Is it because you want to or because he asked you to? Right. Well, I don't know if to. I believe that, by the way. Really? Why I not? just I, that. Of all the things that we've just heard, mm. and maybe I've been hanging around the grouse too long. I think you are. Because right. I, I, I mean, Brock, Danny, me, I mean, everyone has been hearing these types of things. It, we've all been hearing but it. To but, hear, but then, you know, to have, uh, I'm sorry, not uh, Schefter specifically say it, I mean, that's, that's... That he walked into Schneider's office and said, hey, trade me? Or that his agent made a call or whoever's Who's acting. his agent? Yeah, good question. It's complicated from what I understand. <laughs> but that a call was made and said, yeah, I'd like out. If you could find a trade, see you later. I'd be happy to leave. None of us can speak to that. I'm sorry. I, it's not that I flat out don't believe it. Like, oh, there's not credible. Couldn't mm. be. It's not that. That just seems a little flimsy to me. I believe it. Um, based on everything that we've heard behind the scenes and based on everything, uh, and Schefter has a pretty good track record on these things. So I, I, I do believe it. I do believe that he might want out. Yeah. But whether or not he marched in there and initiated this whole thing himself, I don't know. I don't, I, know, I, don't know I don't know that we'll ever know that. I don't know if he was ever doing any marching. <laughs> He knocked on the door. With John Philip Sousa playing in the background, <laughs> in comes Richard Sherman. I don't know if it was quite like that. Um, but that's the story as of today, and it was interesting talking to the people at 8 o'clock. And, yeah. You know, th- the tone has changed on this thing over the course of the last few weeks, from this is fake news to don't trade Richard Sherman to you guys have a vendetta to, okay, this thing is real to I wonder if the Seahawks really want to get rid of him to, wow, it sounds like Sherman wants out. And if he does, then by all means, oblige him because you don't want people around that don't want to be here. You know what's a strange part? Part of this story is that it started with Mike Lombardi just in an offhand remark. Right. Just thinking about, or just talking about, oh, well, he could be traded, blah, blah, blah. He was really, it wasn't even speculating. He was just sort of throwing it out there. Well, that, now, maybe yeah. it was based on something that he knows. He's a connected guy. I understand. Well, it sure but sounds it, that way based on everything that's come out afterwards. Yes. And specifically, John Schneider saying everything you've heard is true. Yes, I mean, once exactly. Schneider says, hey, it's all true, it's like, okay, well, then he wasn't just speculating. Lombardi was actually hearing things, and what he was what he was hearing was legitimate. But if he didn't say that in that one instance, we wouldn't be talking about this at all. Probably Pete true. and John wouldn't have been asked about it, and if Sherman does get traded, that would be like the biggest news since they drafted Russell Wilson. Maybe, but we the, would have been the other absolutely side of it blown it, away by it. Because Pete and John have not run away from this at all, and in fact fan the flames on it, I think you would admit, yeah. Um, you wonder whether or not they wanted that story out to begin with to kind of get this thing moving so that they could either open up a bigger trade market for him or at the end of all this, if he ends up sticking around, say, hey, man, we tried. So you think we did everything we could to try to build a big trade market for you. Nobody wants you. You're going to have to stay here. Oh, isn't that nice of them? Well, I mean, it's not about being nice or not. It's about saying to him, how are you going to put this thing to bed at the end of the day? It's about putting themselves. If Sherman came to them and said, I want out, and then they said, no. We're not trading you. Well, how do you put the genie back in the bottle at the end of all that? Now that's that that tension is out there. But if they say, okay, totally understand, we're going to do our best. We're going to try to uh, make this happen for you. Everything they've said has been complimentary to him, but at the same time saying, yeah, we're more than willing to look at trades, and if people want to call, we'll listen and we'll explore, and we have, and we'll continue to have conversation. And then they say to him, hey, look, man, we tried to just do it on behind the scenes. Nothing happened. We then put it out there and made it public, and still, nothing was able to happen. I'm sorry you don't want to be here, but as it turns out, we're not able to trade you because nobody else really wants you. So why don't you try having a really good year, and at the end of this year, we can explore it again. 